think we look good. Um, obviously, we need we still need improvements. We you know we have Anthony Wigan who just joined us, and you know, he's obviously a new guy who needs a lot of work. And we also have you know young one year guys, you know redshirt freshmen that also need work. So I think it just takes time, kind of gelling with each other, especially after losing you know Bates and Connor. So we're gonna need keep needing to gel with you know Rashid and CJ Thorpe and. Uh, Miranda, so I think it just takes time, but eventually we'll gel together and we'll be fine. Coach Franklin said that you know, Rashid probably could have played last year if you know they didn't have the redshirt rule in place and would have played him anyway. Uh, what have you seen out of him? You know, not just this spring practice, but I guess even last year too. What he kind of proved. The thing about Rashid is that he's a freak athlete. You know, he has super quick feet. You know, he can keep up with anyone. He has pretty great. He has he has a pretty good punch. Um, like I said, he's just a freak athlete. Like he. His feet are just so smooth, and he has good like flexibility. He has like good, uh, how do you say, hip bend? I guess you could say. So, he, he, like I said, he's just a really freak athlete. Yes. How's spring ball, and spring ball gone, kind of overall? How do you think the the team's kind of picking up? Maybe new guys improving faster, or old guys taking charge? Old guys are taking charge. Uh, new guys look really good. I mean, obviously, you saw Keaton make a play. Um, you know, a lot of them are making plays here and there, and. You know, it's it's hard because you got to catch on quick, especially when you're an early enrolling. You got to you got you to learn fast. So, I think the young guys are catching on. I, I think it's really competitive out there. I think it's every day. It's offense is doing really well one day, and then defense is doing really well one day. So, I just think it's a really back and forth right now, which is nice. <coughs> What's your, Sean, go ahead, Mike. What's your assessment of the of the running back group? Do you see someone eventually getting the job like Miles and Saquon did? I could see someone getting the job. Um, it could be Journey Brown. It could be Ricky Slade. I mean, it, it's competition between those guys. You know, that's that's more of a question for Coach Snyder, I'd say. But I mean, they both look really good so far. It's from watching film and everything, they both look really good. Uh, CJ Holm looks really good. So I just think it's gonna be a really intense competition throughout the year. It's gonna probably take till like the last day before the game. Does it make any difference to you guys? Do you do anything differently on who's back there? We just block. <laughs> We just block. Uh, we we do what we have to do, and no matter who's back there, it could be Saquon, it could be Franco Harris back there. So I mean, well, Frank is over seventy, so that's a little. <laughs> you know what I mean. No. <laughs> yeah. But it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, we have Ricky back there, so we just do our job, and they put whoever they want back there, and we'll we'll go with their decision. How does it feel to have CJ Thor back in the room? What does he bring back to the offensive line room? I think he brings that competitive edge. You know, CJ is, they, they rave about his competitive edge, and you obviously, you can see it. Uh, I think he brings that back to the O line room. Uh, and just, he's, he's a grinder. That's pretty much sums up how he is. He's a grinder, he grinds for everything, and he's a hell of a guy. What are you seeing opposite of you at that right guard spot? Obviously, Mike wants to, wants to grab that position just as much as CJ. And what, I mean, how intense is that? That's another like that's gonna be another battle like the running back room that's probably gonna go up to the last week of you know before the game so it's it's gonna be a heavy competition we just we're gonna wait and see and whoever whoever wins the job wins the job. We've heard a lot about CJ's you know demeanor and nastiness on the field that kind of stuff. What about Mike? I mean he started one game last year and I remember a couple of springs ago when he came in as an early enrollee. I think James was saying that he impressed at that time. I mean, yeah. What's what's Mike like? What's his what's his demeanor? Mike's the same way. Mike's a competitive guy like that. I mean, I wouldn't say he's crazy fierce like like CJ. You will see like he shows he he wears his emotions on his sleeve. Like you can see mm -hmm. him going crazy. He'll be yelling. Like Mike's a little bit more laid back, but he is very competitive. He has, he's a technician as well. They're both technicians, but Mike's Mike's pretty smooth with his feet. So it, it's going to be a great competition. Just gotta wait and see who who wins it out. Beyond you and Cam, who are the who are the older guys who are really taking charge? I'd say Tommy Stevens. Tommy Stevens, obviously, leading by example. You know, he's coming out every day. He's working hard, and he's just trying to lead. You know, the offense back. Not even the offense, but just the whole team in general. He's just trying to lead us. Uh, Mike Menet stepping up as well. Um, you can see like Lamon Wade. You can see uh, Nick Bowers. Just a lot of the some of the older guys that are left. You know, they're they're really stepping up, trying to be leaders. Sean and Tommy always talked about taking every rep like they're the first teamer, but now that Trace is officially gone. You notice any elevated sense of urgency from those guys when they're getting their practice reps? It kind of seems as business as usual. I mean, I don't really haven't seen any. Much, I, I haven't really seen any change for, out of them. But I mean, maybe within themselves, like personally, maybe they have a compet like sort of a competitive edge. You know, trying to like heighten and trying to you know win the competition. But 
I haven't seen it. You know, they, those guys compete every day, so I, you know, I really can't tell. <laughs> Consider that a good sign, then? I yeah, mean, that they're kind of who they were already? Yeah, it's a very good sign. I'm very good sign. You mentioned Michael Mennon's leadership skills. How have you and him kind of bonded over the past year or so? And what kind of relationship you guys are building going into year two being together? Ever since, I mean, even when we were recruits, me and Mike were really good friends. Um, and so when he came here and we just started playing together, I just felt like our, fr our like our friendship kind of you know bonded more and we gelled more. And we understood each other more, and especially playing next to him now, like I can understand him a lot more. And you know, we don't really even have to make calls to each other sometimes because we just know like what we have to do. So when did he become more of a leader? As more vocal, I guess. On yes, the line? yes, he's very he's as vocal as I am. So he's he's very vocal leader. So is Will Fries. You know, a lot of the old guys, CJ as well, Mike. So. A lot of the older guys are really stepping up. When did you find out that Connor and Ryan Bates were leaving, and how? I found out after the bowl game. They uh, they announced it to the O line after the bowl game. They had told us, "Hey, we were going to leave," and they told us their decision. We obviously we respected it, but they had to us right after the bowl game. In the locker room. Yeah. After the bowl game. Were Were you expecting that at all? I mean, had had those conversations been brought up before at all, or no? Not necessarily. I mean. I could have expected it, maybe. I mean, I, you, know, you know, you never really know. I thought they were going to come back. I, you know, sometimes I thought they were going to leave. Sometimes I thought they were going to come back. It was, it was really up in the air, honestly. How about yourself? Because then you had your announcement you put on social media. Was there ever a point last year, leading up to the Citrus Bowl, where you may have been leaning the other way, or was it kind of this decision all the way? I was kind of leaning the other way really? uh, most of the time. Yes, I was leaning most of the way, uh, the other way most of the time. Uh, it really it came up to the final weeks. I talked to close close family. I talked to the coaches. Talked to my coaches back from high school, and we really discussed it. We we sat down and we discussed it, and we just felt like it was the best decision for me to come back. Like just in everything, it, it just made sense for me to come back. So that's the reason, kind of why. When you're having those conversations.